Right, it should be working now. Brilliant then. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. Uh, hello, Mo. <laughs> sorry, sorry about this. Uh, hello there, everybody. Welcome to this stream, I guess. I'm gonna do some root building, I guess. No, no, not root building. Root scenario building. Uh, all right, bear with me for a second. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. I can't, I'm streaming! No, I don't. That's okay. I knew something like that would happen. Okay, we're ready to start, I guess. Oh, oh, shh, shh, shh. Not supposed to see that. Should be working now. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. It's time to stream, my friends. We're gonna be making a scenario. Now, many of you may not notice what this route is. Or maybe, hang on, maybe if you like this. Um, I also called. You might not recognize what this route is. However, you, you know Just Trains released this new Valley Corridor route? This is the route that it was based off. This is the original, um, the old, I think it's Railworks Free because it has something that the Just Trains route, which costs money, doesn't have. Um, super Elevation. And yeah, I mean, you got the Kuju signals in the Kuju track, but I honestly think it's better than the Just Trains route because it doesn't have a million assets at once, meaning the route lags. Twas a shame though, but uh, we're going to be making a sh short scenario because I like the concept of the ex Express Corridor route. It's just that the Just Trains one, the execution on the Just Trains drains one is just absolute crap. And it's a shame. So, I uh, can't decide if it's going to be a Express or a... Uh, what's it called? Can't decide if it's going to be Express or Stopper. And where's the nearest main station? Ness. Okay, actually, you know, I'll, I'll just... I want to get this done, so I'm going to have a Stopper. Because the stations are really far apart. Right then, hang on, bear with. Pick a time. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Arlington Trains Weather 124. And Mr. Andrew C, who. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> hello. Uh, as with the previous streams, you can ask, ask me questions throughout, and I'll do my best to answer. And if I feel in the mood, I'll tell you some stories whilst I work and build this scenario. <coughs> Hello everybody, welcome for joining in. Uh, bear with, let's let's set the time and date. Time, what time? Let's do it early in the morning, Saturday morning. Can't be bothered the, the, the date here. Uh, summer, autumn, winter or sp summer? And hazy, because this is not the UK, meaning we get to see sometime. Actually, you know what, 8.15, 8.15. Uh, we obviously, since the route's electrified, um, uh, obviously, what's it called? <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I'll answer the Bill and Ted question in a second, but this is Train Simulator. So I should make it up aware. This is a um, this is the freeware express corridor route that nobody know nobody really knew about until uh, I noticed Josh Trains were making a new route which looks suspiciously familiar. Uh, let's pick some assets. Uh, being this. A stopping train to what's hmm I need to think what kind of good stop oh I know of course I know the only possible train I can use as a stopping train oh uh three two one come on oh, no there we go uh oh why, why am I unpinning that I always have it <laughs> Safe. Uh, now, uh, what's my put thoughts on the original Bill and Ted series? Well, I don't know. I've never watched the original Bill and Ted series. <laughs> I I don't. Yeah, I've never watched it, so I can't give an opinion. So sorry about that. It will just be a mystery that, will, you know, a mystery will take to your grave, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so we'll start on platform nine because platform because seven, eight, nine. Get it? Get the hint. Right, let's place our units. Uh, how do you choose what assets you use in route building? Uh, 
I usually pick the ones with the most versa versatility in them. Uh, it really depends on the it really depends on the type of route, but the ones that I always like to use are the standard AP assets. The AP asset pack, you know, the RS Derek ones. Uh, no, it's not a London route, it's the Express Corridor. Uh, it's a fictional route, which I don't know where you could download it from. It's free, but it's it's basically the free... It's the original version that Just Trains used. And we'll use Silverlink, because let's be original. Because you could say, you know, it links the two areas of this, uh, this one route. So, okay, player. I've got the sound muted, because we're not going to be... I don't think I'm going to be driving unless it's something absolutely major. Uh, do I have any Thomas content for Train Simulator? No. I didn't even know there is any. And even if there was, I have no reason to invest. Uh, what's it called? It has the Bandicam logo on the top, but it provides some excellent, some entertainment. It What does? Oh, I have to search through the chat. Uh, or not. Tongue is free. Uh, I still don't want it. I'm, I've grown out of Thomas the Tank Engine. Even the, the joke videos. <laughs> you know. Uh, oh, sorry about that. It's just not my thing. Right. So the rule is. Let's see. Stopping trains. Because whilst I'm here. I might as well say that. The reason why I really like the express corridor route. Which is this route here. Is that for the most part of the route. Freight trains and passenger trains are segregated from each other. As you can see here, you've got freight depots and like passing... They're separated from each other for the most part. And that's a really unique concept. Um, and obviously, Just Trains could have easily made this route incredible to drive on. Because it's, it's, it's more than 120 miles. Nearly 130 miles long. But what do they do? Um... I don't know, let's remove the super elevation uh, and just build the route with an axe and a hammer. <laughs> like every other Just Trains route. It's annoying. But at least... Uh... It's a shame. I mean, I will at least give them credit for some of the scripts they have for the signals. They're, the Just Train signals are technically superior to the UK Pro ones, but aesthetically are less pleasing to the eye. Uh, yes. Oh, well, actually, yeah. Um, I want to show you uh, what's it called? A, a unique trick you can do in the in both the route editor and the scenario editor. Okay. Um, not many people know this. If you press nine, uh, you've got the two D map. All right. I'll answer your question in a second, Mr. Arlington. Now, if I want to go to the far south of the route, you would normally have to take the camera all the way down or remember the coordinates for you to copy and paste. But if you hold Control and click and left and press left click, hang on. And then hit this little button here. Yep. You instantly trans. You you use instant transmission. See, it's gonna take a moment to load up, but hey, look, instant transmission. All it needs is the the sound effect. You know, you know that old the DBZ sound effect, which I really find funny. <laughs> if I was making a TV show, I would ask. I would beg Toei. Could I have, could I have the rights to that one, or at least could I use that one sound effect? In my show, please. Just as a laugh. But let's actually um, add the new stops. So we're going to wait here for about 50 seconds. 55 seconds. We're going to have a guard on this train because this ra the railway network in this region is funded. With this thing called money. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I wish there were more shortcuts as well. But they were, at least um, made them more aware because I only found this out from Mr. DPS, who is currently uh, busy, I think. Let me ask, uh, ask you a question. Uh, I'm getting Trains in World for the... No, Trains in World for... Yeah, Trains in World for the Xbox. What are your thoughts on it and should I buy it? Well, I have no thoughts on it whatsoever apart from... Um, I wouldn't... I haven't, I haven't tried it. All I know is that the general consensus is it's a bit of a waste of time, at least from what I've seen. So if you go if you if you have enough money for a game on the Xbox, 
Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't play on the Xbox. I can't give you opinions there either. Uh, Ohio. Hmm. Uh, hmm, interesting. Okay. Right. It's not, it doesn't normally take me this long to just add the things. It's just having to uh, multitask is adding a bit more um, time. But nothing too hard. So you can see, even from the times here, that there is quite a bit of a distance to the stations. Between, yeah, between the stations. And we'll terminate at Ness. So from Six City to Ness. Uh, and that's where our service terminates. Right. Will you join... Uh, hey, Daniel, will you join my Facebook group? Ugh, no. Sorry. Uh, I join things depending on if I want to, not if someone asks me to. It's the same principle I have for subscribing and for my viewers, okay? You subscribe if you want to. I shouldn't have to tell you to. <laughs> oh, so... So you can't even run a... F so the HST sets on TS World. Uh, oh my goodness. Hang on. They run with less... Yeah, one, they run with less coaches to improve frame rates. That's stupid. Wow. I mean, that's the one thing Train Sim could actually do. <laughs> Just run a, run a normal HST set. Yeah, I'm actually going to add another set of coaches because this railway is funded. But, uh, will you rejoin... Well, uh, what's it called? Will you um, resume the train to new show? I will once I've somewhat more recovered, okay? I've said this... That's I get that question all, every time I stream. And I will give you the same answer. Oh, sorry! Oh, no. Proper rakes on the PC, less on the Xbox. Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry, I misread that. Not surprised, but... You know, like I said... If you buy on your sides, if you're playing a train sim on the X Xbox, why don't you just, you you know, put on the computer? You've got keyboards. If you're that desperate for train sim, well, get it on the computer. <laughs> uh, where was I? Um. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have a train, have, we'll have a train here, obviously. Uh, we'll have an express train that has priority over us. That's one thing I always do. Uh, I'm just trying to see. Obviously, it has to go from um, this platform. Platform six. What what express train should we? Oh, I know the class eighty seven. Because why not an eighty seven hour uh, bear with wagons. Ninety for the coaches DVT. And where's West Coast Mainline Shep? Uh. uh yeah, again, I think Trains and World's just a mess, honestly. It's not worth my. It's not worth my time. It's not worth your time either. At least from what. At least from what the um, the, the 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 beta testing. Sh I, I I the beta thing I did. Uh, what was it? What, WM sort of. With NV free games, are they reliable to you, Daniel? No. Uh, I don't even know what MV3 is. Can't answer that until I know what it means. What about a Discord server? You thought about doing that? A uh, simple answer is no. <laughs> Let me exp I got a bit of a thing to tell you that, okay? I tried Discord and I didn't like it because on my computer, um, well, I didn't experience many issues on my computer with it. But, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? On my phone, it doesn't make any, uh, it doesn't make any notifications. Or at well, that I can't hear the notifications. And I can't change the notification sound for, uh, what's it called? Um, I can't get, I can't change the notification sound to what I prefer. And even then, uh, it's, yeah, it's just not something I really want to do. I'd rather, I'd rather just have, in terms of communication, the, the way, the, the way that I currently normally use, instead of having something that I probably will be a bit scared I'm not really fond of Discord, okay? Nothing against it if you use it, but I don't want to use it. I don't want to start it up myself. 
or have anybody else in control of it like that, at least. Okay? You sh I don't want to do it. Sorry. And I forgot where the coaches are whilst I was rambling on. <laughs> where are... Uh, I mean, those are HST coaches, so they don't fit well with delivery, do they? I mean, what does TS? Where's TS? Maybe if I put on West Coast North. There we go. Um, black. Red, black. Obviously... Obviously, um, you might have noticed the Virgin liveries have obviously been removed because, um, it, you know, what's it called? They've been removed to prevent Richard Branson, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, yeah, as Mr. Marcus here said, it's, it's just too much, um, too much effort. Steam Group is fine. Uh, <laughs> the end. <laughs> Why do I need a... I don't really need anything more than that. Especially when I already have a very small fan base. Uh, not even a fan base is a strong word. Uh, I don't know. What's the word you'd use? Small amount of people who say... Who watch my videos. And yeah, frowny, I have notifications turned on. I, and it still doesn't play on my phone. And it's not like I'm cheating by using an out-of-date version. I used the most update version they had on Google Play. And updated it as soon as I could. And still doesn't work. Yeah, I think there's most likely a branding patch. I haven't been bothered to install it, that's all. Uh, free first-class coaches for the scum. <laughs> uh, hang on, your question. Let me just... Oh, I missed the other question. Do you like 4884 Big Boy Steam Engines? Uh, assuming they're the ones I'm thinking of, nah, I don't care for them. Sorry, they sound the names sound American. Same, I think they sound American to me. If they are the, if they are those American ones, then yeah, I don't like them. Don't care for them, I mean. Okay, so this is this. Hang on, what time does this service leave? Uh, oh, <laughs> let's double check. Sixteen, sixteen, twelve. Uh, well, well, why? <laughs> uh, I'm not in the mood to do random voice chats with people at the moment, realistically. Uh, not, not really. I just, again, I want to get back to my feet before I probably start talking a bit more to other people. I'm a bit nervous at the moment. Bear with me. I'll, I'll answer that question in a second. Got, hang on. Got, uh, go fast. It leaves at 16. 16. Uh, that leaves at 16.20. And it goes into a portal. So, you know, Crest, Crest uh, Gaming Comedy. What do you feel about the 707s being replaced with Aventurers? Well, 707s are rubbish. <laughs> Anything could be better if they replaced them. They're really horrible to ride on. They're, they're very uncomfortable. And they're, um, yeah, they're very uncomfortable. They don't have toilets. But at least the air conditioning works, which is nice, I guess. Uh, so, I have to wait. I, have, I don't think I've been on a dedicated Aventura apart from the 345. And that's not really a fair comparison, so I have to wait and see. Oh, bloody hell. Got loads of comments. Help. Oh. <laughs> Loads of chat comments. Uh, where is it? Opinion on the 350s? They're alright. I managed to ride on the 350 when Southern were hiring it. So, that's nice. I forgot where the portal is. <laughs> uh, I needed to go further than that. Some more Southern portal. Okay, that's perfect. So, Clinton Portal 2. Because by then, um, the, it'll be green light running. You won't catch up to it. I'm going to put it 100%, so 23. Hmm. Uh, for some of... Uh, yeah, pretty much. The seating... I mean, I think the train with the worst seats... Uh, in my opinion, are the... What's it called? 
can't remember the the uh, Great Western Railways eight uh no three three eight sevens. Those are the worst seats I've ever been on on a train. They are they are disgusting in every single way. Ban them. And I just realised something annoyingly with this route. I, I thought, you see this four track section here? I thought that went up to the next station. So you would at least... I thought it went up to the next... Yeah, you know, so you'd at least have some time to chase this train. But it doesn't. It goes up. It just, you know, goes... That goes into a portal. Or it goes into the hills beyond the hills. Yeah. And it just keeps going on. So the, for the passing area... So you've got to be chasing yellows, basically, for a bit. Uh, until you reach here, which has... Yeah. That's annoying, but, you know, we'll work with it. We'll work our way around it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> hello, Elton, and hello, everybody else ty typing in the chat. <laughs> uh, I forgot what I was doing. Yeah, okay. Or I'll make the I'll make the eighty seven leave a bit earlier. That'll help. So he leaves at fifteen twenty. I'll just check on how who's in the chat at the moment. New number of people. Oh, okay. So we've had that there. Okay, uh, favorite episode of SpongeBob. Good question. Uh, that's possibly going to go to. Ooh, oh, well, I have a few candidates. You've got Gary takes a bath. Um, I'll just put another AI treat whilst I chat. You've got Gary takes a bath. Uh, uh, I like Shanghai and I like the hookies. I don't know. I mean, hooky. But I, I also like Krusty Towers as well. <laughs> that's a really funny episode. Uh. Yeah, those are my favourite episodes of Spongebob. We'll put another silver link here. Move it a bit further back. This will enter. Right, I'll read the chat whilst I put this thing here. What's, what was I want to say? Did you know that Dovetail re-released the 390 when they clearly order in a 390, but this one might have a rubbish horn? Um, well, I've already tried that new 390. It's, it's, really, it's pretty bad. And I got demotivated to make a video about it whilst doing testing, comparing the two on a top secret route that no one ever knows. Okay, so we've got a 390, 321 Ender. This is coming down from the south. What platform? And it comes in. We'll have it terminate on platform one, I guess. And actually, I don't want it stopping at the far end of the platform. Uh, so I'll just put the market here. Do you think uh, AP319 is good? I I swear I've mentioned that in the original stream. <laughs> in the uh, not the original, like the previous in the previous stream. I think it was sort of a uh, meh on. I can't remember. I just thought it was really greedy of how they um, split it up into two packs. That's what I remember. Not if it not if I liked it a lot. Again, this one will be 100 percent. Save. I don't. I'm on conscious of the asset count, so I'm being very careful. But I'll have a mark, a mark free set enter at least. We'll put. Where's the next signal? Where should we put it? Come on, it's got to be a signal. Okay, there we go. We'll put one here. Oh, if you, oh, just before anybody asks, uh. The, this this is a retextured Kuju signal pack, so the signals look good. Uh, you can get it from UK Train Sim if you do a bit of digging. Look for upgrades, like like Kuju signal upgrade thing. <laughs> Sorry if it's not the clearest of instructions, but what can you do? Uh, oh, hang on, no, I missed a question here. Bear with me. During scenario building, why is it that when you script a freight train to stop into a siding or destination, even when you timetable it, 
it will only stop at a starting destination for only 20 seconds. I have absolutely no idea why it does that. The game is really silly. And I, I don't want to give you false information. So as far as I'm concerned, I have no idea whatsoever. It's just... The game is really confused. However, um, I'm going to change the back of this 90. I'm going to replace it with something else. Right. With another class 90, I meant. Different livery. Uh, uh, rest. Let's pick a rest. Uh, the worst part is that Daniel is that they did not paint uh, make a Virgin 390 paint scheme, which is what I was hoping for. Okay, it's pretty bad, I guess. <laughs> Have you seen the pictures of the country class on the TS website? Website. I'm not too sure. Well, have fun. See you later, Mr. Frowny. Enjoy your lunch. It's closer to dinner for my time, but I won't have dinner now. I'll save for later. Might have some toast, honestly. That'll be enough. I'm not in the mood for a big dinner. Uh, DVT, enter one. And we'll have a start at 16 or 17. We'll start this at 16. So it's, so it's at least moving. And we'll have it enter platform 5. Essentially, I should say to, to everyone else that I'm basically... Um, I'm basically building until I get bored, until the game gives up. And if the game gives up, then uh, I, depending on how depending on how I feel, I'll either stop the stream or or find something else to do. And that's the freight line. Just remembered. Hmm. Might be a good idea to have a freight train. Uh, oh yeah, they don't, they, I forgot they don't need to. All right. So if I have a freight train, hmm. I'm just thinking. Because I don't... Again, I'm con conscious on assets. And there's only 168 here anyway, so... It's not the end of the world. We'll probably have... <laughs> another... Free a unit here, at least. Hmm. And what's the speed limit? So, 55. Yeah, the speed limits on this route are very generous. As you can... Oh yeah, I forgot it's kilometers an hour. I just remembered. Ah, uh, so that's mm. okay. Actually, you know what? I think once I do enough AI and I've reset the game to behave, I think I might. Um, what's it called? I think I might play do a, a, a like a small quick drive through, maybe to one stop. And oh, sorry, I might actually do that. Um, you know, once I've done, just done a bit more work on this scenario, obviously, <laughs> and maybe have an area where we where the freight where you you know you overtake a freight service. Now that you're back, do you plan on doing the Q and A? Uh, of course I do, but um, I, well, again, I'll probably do that when the time is right for me to to work on videos properly. So as soon as this medication is over, I f I think we'll be able to make some progress. So, this is the other station. Hang on, just double checking the electrification, which is everywhere. The best sort of catenary ever. But what can you do when it's 2012 to make do with what you got? Hang on, just double checking experience. Have you played the London Underground route for TS? Uh, the District Line one. Uh, yes, I did try it out, thank you. But. Uh, it was a bit of a, the sort of, eh, 50-50-ish. Uh, well, I'll give credit for putting in some effort for the assets and stuff, the custom-made ones, but still feels very, um, very, very old as a route in general. What can you do? What's wrong with the GWML in real life? Uh, did I say something about that? I've got really bad memory. I'm sorry. Like, I might have said that GWR's 387s are horrible to ride on, but I don't remember saying something about that in real life. Uh, I need another sip. Uh, wagons. Freight wagons. Oh, 
I can't remember at the moment. It's not that I'm avoiding your question. I, I just can't remember. Sorry. I'm really sorry. What other wagons? Those are sort of old wagons. Maybe if we bring a few 66s here and there. No, not our mills, 66s. Uh, unos dos. And a 56, why not? Because, you know, why not? Okay, let's put some freight wagons. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. No, no, no. I've got a new idea. Just came up with it right now. Overpoweredness. Um, we'll have... Uh, hang on. If you're not going to trade the seats for a card, it's most likely Fonza. Things. Uh, thank you very much. Well, honestly, I, I think the 387s are worse than the 345s, but to each their own. Both of them have only rode on once. And once was enough for both. <laughs> uh, yeah, what was I doing? Yeah, I was going to make a... Put EWS. Then again, I, I like this. I like this livery that Mr. Fletcher made. I like it. it. Looks very industrial, but it doesn't match the live the, the. I know it doesn't match the era I'm going for, but I don't care. It looks cool. Makes it, you know, a bit more European. I mean, there could be a bit of a clue to that, but you know. Let's see. So freight wagons. What freight wagons were I going to use? I mean, <laughs> if this was going to be European, you, <laughs> yeah, we would go with those kinds of wagons here. Vitka. Uh, HTAs. Well, that's really cruel for the uh, as far as the Mark Fives are concerned. Uh, if they're going to be anywhere near the quality of the three four five, then um, well, we I mean, I mean the three eight seven. Then riding on the Thames League, <laughs> no, riding on Trans Pennine will be impossible in almost every single way. At least as as far as I'm concerned, I'd avoid it. Horrible, and I don't know what freight wagons to use. Oil tank. Ah, oh, these aren't the proper, like... Uh, hmm. Actually, you know what? I will use, uh, I'll use Ovi's, some of Ovi's wagons. With an EWS oil train. That's the one we'll have. So, safe. Neither am I, but I don't, I don't live up north either. I live in the south of England. In the south. Uh, potash. Ah, yeah, oil. So where's Uvies? T A T A black. Uh, blue. Green. Grey. Okay, grey. So we'll have a fully loaded. Uh, one thing I do know is that the maximum um, number of these TEAs, uh, 66 can haul, is about 20. Let's see how much I'm going to add. Uh, one, two, three. Six. Twelve. I won't behave, you stupid game. Eighteen. Twenty. I <laughs> know I'm going go. one times six is six and two so six is five. Oh my my math is really oh man I just got black 16 18 24 24 nice Ugh. <laughs> yeah I, yeah I mean uh, the 60s are really powerful regarding TEAs um uh that's what I know. I mean, I think the for 60s in real life, I think it's about 40, I've heard. It's like 30 or 40. I can't remember the exact number, but yeah. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? What's your opinion on the gospel to barking line electrification? I think it's making the line more rideable. Well, I can't say if it's making the line more rideable because the new stock haven't arrived yet to be used on the line. It's still a mess at the moment. <laughs> Uh, I hate riding up the gospel up to Barking Line. I just, and I hope that, all I can say is I hope the electrification will do something. 
And it probably will make the route even more overcrowded because more people will ride on it now that, uh, you know, it, it's been improved. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I know they're, they're going to be on Ventura's, but what can you do about it? <laughs> the company wants money. And we're going to put a 90 on the back for maximum power. Or as Eggman says, all systems, full power. Uh, do you like the 170 enhancement pack? Well, at, le at least it makes the 170 more usable. It's, it's, like You could say, I guess I like it. Exactly what Mr. Crazy Shark said. The 172s, uh, they sound good, but they, don't, they do not suit the line at all. Or yours. Okay, so this is going to be like a freight train. I'm just trying to say, hang on, what time do we reach? Uh, what's this station called? Clinton. When do we arrive at Clinton? <laughs> we arrive at Clinton at... And also, put this thing here before I put... Wait a second. No, 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 no. It's a free roam scenario. I can't drive the trains. It's a free roam scenario. <laughs> All this work was wasted. No. 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 Where's the... Okay. Okay, okay. New plan, new plan, new plan. Okay, exit out the train simulator. None of this happens. Okay. Let trains him just... Well... Oh, you say that, but... um. I don't know how to use RW tools properly. The last time I tried messing about with RW tools to fix something like a scenario or a train reskin, it broke my installation, forcing me to restart everything almost. Bar, let's say, like, you know, roots and stuff. So, no way, no way, I'm not touching RW tools again, unless it's for, I don't know, renaming one file very carefully. Don't worry, we'll be back very quickly. Um, I have a new backup plan. I'm gonna... My backup plan is something else. Oops. <laughs> no, that's not your fault, but don't worry. Again, I have a backup plan. Uh, so much for making a scenario on that route. Of course I end up cocking up as soon... Uh. Yeah, and it, like I said, I don't want to mess about with um rw tools right then um hang on there we go there we go everything's back to normal ish no okay well not the the thing at least uh i thought of something else to do using uh quick drive and just drive a bit and i'll have put the sound on this time uh let's click random hang on yeah it's working sure uh i'm thinking I wonder what, if we, what we can get with random. So, one. It's not that bad, I guess. Oh, jog on. Uh, eh. yeah, at least that's the full journey. <laughs> nope. Nah. Negatory. Oh. That's my old route. <laughs> nope. Nah. Nixta, nine. Actually, you know what, sort of. We're not gonna do quick drive. That's just scam. That's just really desperate. I'm gonna not. No, no, no. My idea was um. Well, actually, yes, it was gonna be quick drive. But I was going to basically do a bit of a like a drive on my my own route, the route that I made. <laughs> Can't 
Go figure. What what are the chances of that? Yeah, I'm ba I'm, what I'm going to do is maybe a quick drive on the new route that I'm making. Because I've got a basic quick drive set up with no AI and stuff. It'll be easy to drive on. As long as I don't go too far and the game crashes. And it gives me, you know, gives me something else to do. How long have we been streaming for? Let me just double check. Uh, hang on. We've been streaming to... Crap, where's the number? Yeah, we've been streaming for 40 minutes. I think we've got enough time to do a bit of driving. So bear with, where was I? Oh. Oh, there we go. Good, good, good. Right, so... Seven Oaks to Tombridge. I'm going to start from Tombridge. And we'll go as far... Or maybe drive as far as... I think I can go as far... I can't go to Kingsham because it'll break the game. Um, Kingsham kind of breaks because I, I remodeled the area. So I'll go as far as... Um, what's the station before? I think we'll go we'll drive as far as Brace the Downs. Uh, so we'll do... Yeah, we'll do Brace the Downs and we'll use the Connex 205. Bit of weathering. No, yeah, bit of weathering on it. Uh, we'll, we'll try and stop at all stops. Oh, no, hang on, behave. Uh, what about the... What's your opinions on the 158 enhancement pack? Don't know. Oh, oh you know, sorry. I, I, no, sorry. Uh, well, it's nice that the sounds are better than the original. Uh, and you get most of the deliveries included. It's just scumbag pricing and what strikes again. So, yeah, Tom Bridge and... Um, yeah, we'll drive us. Actually, we want to go as far as Hollywood Town. That's really what I want to do. So I'll pick the summer. Now, of course, I'm not going to do winter. The route looks crap in winter. <laughs> 8.30 in the morning. Right. Um, whilst the game loads, uh, I'm going to have a take a quick sip of my drink. And I'm also going to test the audio level. Of course, you won't hear anything at the moment. Because I've muted the, the game audio. But uh, I want to see what you guys think, uh, if it's too loud or not. So, yeah, trains load, sim is still loading. So let's put it at minus 20 at the moment. So I should be louder by default. So I might do some tests, actually. Uh, speakers. Uh, uh, how loud is this? Uh, on. Come on, weren't you stupid? <laughs> my volume mix is not responding. Okay, okay, hang on. I uh, just need some tests from my viewers. Uh, is this too loud? Or can you hear that, you know, the beep? The, the Windows 8.1 beep. Just, just tell me what you think of that. And if that's too hard for you, we'll we'll try the, the, the game itself. Right. Okay, it's fine for you. Seems fine. All right then. Uh, okay. You sh can you hear the game? Can you hear the game decently? Is it? I hope it's not ear rate volume. So just tell me, and then we'll start properly driving. We'll at least open the doors. Oh. Hang on a second. A bit too low. All right. Oh, hang on. Uh, what about? Is this any better? Is that still a bit too low? I can, I'll turn it up a tiny bit more if you want, but I just want to make sure you can still hear me. All right. Okay then. Okay, brilliant. Let's drive on my own route. Oh, hang on. Did I open the doors again? Good. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Um, okay, let's drive this on my route. Um, the route is actually set up for the AP uh, CSR thing here. Hang on a second. I've got area code already for Tonbridge. That's 32. 
I, yeah, I've put area codes for most of the signal boxes on this route. Uh, oh, spoiler warning, this route doesn't exist in real life. The station, the, most of the place names do, but this doesn't. Just, just warnings before people saying, oh, what? this looks nothing like Tonbridge. Of course it doesn't look anything like Tonbridge. <laughs> anything but Tonbridge. <laughs> in real life, at least. Okay, so we got signals clear. Uh, break seems to be fine enough. And I'm not doing a full throttle start because they'll burn the traction motors, but four should be doing enough. So yeah, we're going to have a bit of a drive from this. We've got 20 miles. Yeah, I'll show you 20 miles and then we'll stop the stream. And I'll stay in, I'll stay in the cab for the most part, unless absolutely necessary. <laughs> nice one, yeah. You could say that, but um, I don't actually... Actually, oh, I don't see any Gillingham vibes from it, honestly. Now we go under Anne Bridge, and now we can turn up the power. A nice shot here. Uh, thoughts on the AP150 pack? Again, it's kind of like the 150. No, no, the 158. I mean, it's good, but it's just a bit scummy for how much they're charging. And now it's pretty much your only way to use the 150. Which is a bit unfair for... If, especially if older scenarios use the old one. Alright, um, I'll as well just quickly show you here. Um, I paused the game, don't worry. It hasn't crashed. Uh, we got some... These are the seven... The, no, the Tombridge stabling sidings. Oh, I need a, I need to um, fix the terrain here a bit. Uh, they're a bit overgrown because reasons. Uh, we got, I got a nice little set piece here. Drivers waiting until he can go by. There we go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> right. Okay, we go over one of the areas where the route has been budgeted. We've got a bit of single lining here. Hello, Liam. I'm doing mostly okay today, I guess. It's a bit bumpy this bridge. Um, as you can... It's a bit bumpy. Okay. Speed limit ups to 60, but we don't need a speed up. We need to slow down as we are approach our first stop, Tombridge University. Uh, do you mean taken to build or taken... Or in terms of length, because in terms of length, it's about 45 miles ish. Um, uh, oh, crap, 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 crap. I'm gonna, over, I'm gonna overrun, but I don't care. Test run. Uh, but in terms of how long it's taken me to build. Oh, I hate these brakes so much. Stop! Stop! There we go. Open those doors. Uh, yeah, um. To build this route, uh, I've been building it for, gee, maybe just over two months now, I think. Behind, maybe just over two months. No more than two months, definitely not. Nothing more than two months, really. Uh, but, yeah, it is, it is jointed track on the bridge. Most of the route on this section here, well, pretty much all of the route up until we rejoin the main line is jointed track. Because, again, it's old. Do you prefer the do you prefer to lay the track first or add it as long as you or do it as long as you go? Track first, then scenery. That's the way I prefer it. So it's the personal preference.
What happened to the old room? Got too, they've got too many assets, so I binned it. <laughs> and it took a hundred years to load. And I lost some areas of it, so yeah, I binned it. That's basically what's happened. And plus, I'm, I've been, I'm really impressed with how this um, area is going along. Because this is where the route gets really hilly and you can get some really nice picturesque shots. So you, mm, very nice. Even for fictional, that looks really good. Uh, these are the university stabling sidings. Third rail runs out here, and now it's all diesel. Although you've got a third rail here for reversing purposes. Okay, uh, we are entering Shorefrost Tunnel. This is what I think I've named this one Shorefrost Tunnel. Uh, sorry to hear that, Mr. Thomas. I've got a bit of iffy coordination as well, but what can you do? And now we leave the Tombridge signalling area. We are now into the realms of the unknown. Ooh. I love the hills on this area. I think I've really done a good job with the scenery and the terrain around here. Do you plan on drawing a rough map? Uh, I guess I could in paint.net, I guess. Wouldn't be too hard. I'll, I'll think about it later. Or closer to when I finish this route. They're under the railwork section if you're looking for the signal upgrades, by the way. No, yeah, they're not under train simulator, they're under railworks. Hey, hey, don't knock paint.net. Um, it's, uh, what's it called? It's alright, I've been using it since 2012. I mean, the only reason I don't use Photoshop is because Photoshop costs money. And I, I'm not a professional video editor, picture editor. At most I do a few colourings. Oh no, I meant before, uh, do you build the route so when you, do you have a rough guideline that you try to follow? Oh no, I don't. I usually just go along as, just do it as I go. How about Gimp? Uh, try it once. Don't remember what I think of it. I was thinking with paint on that, it works. <laughs> Well, of course, yeah, I'm, I'm not, of course, Photoshop is better. Um, yeah, uh, what's it called? Photoshop, of course, is better than, than um, Paint.net and GIMP. But, like I said, I, I don't need to, to use Photoshop. Um, yeah, I remember, uh, yeah, people delete the alpha layer. Um, what's it called? Uh... Yeah, it, that only applies to people who make reskins, and I don't make reskins. Oh, great, I've got to fix this signal. Uh, this signal broken. Nothing too amazing in Train Simulator. Okay, this number should change any moment, and I've realised I'm, I'm going to overrun this station. There's no way I'm going to stop. But this number should change. Come on. Up. Come on, you should change. Slow down, please. Watch, watch me over on this station by just a tiny bit. Go on, watch. So I've already won over on the stop marker.
Yeah, if this, if this was a two coach, that... Ugh. Not that I'm really picky or anything. Not that I'm picky, I just want to stop at the station. Yeah, this is Plaxworth Station. It's inspired by a station on the Medway Valley line, though I forgot what name it is. I think it's New Hive, I've got the inspiration for its appearance from. Right then. Uh, oh, by the way, um, have I named the motorway above the station yet? No. Probably just call it the M88. How about that? There. Name confirmed. Uh, this is work in progress paper mill. Don't judge. This is Plaxworth signal box, where we could. Yeah, this is this model's from um, the West Coast. Uh, Trent, no, no, not Trent Valley. Shap, but if you're if you're curious, so we can stand here and watch the train go by. Any second now. Talk amongst yourselves. Best train in the world, everybody. Oh, here it is. I don't know, I don't know the, um, I don't know the, <laughs> Jamie, I don't know the, uh, motorway number things. <laughs> uh, okay, okay then, sure, we'll call it the M26. There we go, M26 confirmed. <laughs> oh my goodness, this acceleration is painful. Why is it taking so long? Ugh. Oh. Okay, M27 then! <laughs> we'll do it M27. Uh, no, 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 it's, it's fine. He's just messing about with me, I think. But the least used station on my route is a bit further on down the line. It's very hard to see at the moment. It's just over there, but I can't take the camera any further than this. And I was going to do something where I basically ask if we should stop at it or not. Um, yeah, the station we're about to go by is called Mox Heath. is the least used station on the route. Bas it's basically a halt. And I was going to let the viewers here decide, shall we stop at it or not? Um, uh, what's it called? Would you consider creating a timetable? Well, I have actually considered making a timetable for the route. It's basically an hourly service for the most part. So, well, yeah, I was thinking I could give it a try. <laughs> right. Okay, we're three to one. Act like Jeff is on the train. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, you mean like, um, oh, that Jeff. Yeah, I forgot who he was at the moment. <laughs> Go on, place your bets, people. If you haven't voted yet, keep voting. Then vote now. If we're going to stop at Mox Heath, we haven't got much time because it's got a really short platform. It can just barely hold a um a 205. In fact, I'm going to put the throttle off now so we can be ready to break by the one mile mark. Okay, here we are. This is Mox Heath. A bit work in progress, but, you know. We can just barely see our trains in the distance. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. We've got four stops, one don't stop. Any more votes? No? Okay, sure, we're stopping. Oh, 
Uh, what's it called? Where did I get those platforms? Uh, they're from the DPS root building pack. If you go on DP simulations, you can um, find a root building pack. And he's got those really thin platforms there, which are really nice for these kinds of stations where, you know, only 10 trains a day stop. Actually, I think I'm breaking really soon, but who cares? It's a halt station. And again, the platforms are really narrow, really short. So I think we should be doing about 20 miles an hour max by the time we go over the crossing. Yeah, those ones, yeah, the Go Compare, where well, he's got the Go Compare adverts. Mm. Alright, might stick my head out the window, but well, you shouldn't do this. Kids don't drive us at home, or on a real train. Yeah, I find them funny as well. Alright. And hey, look! There is a person on the platform. It might be Jeff. There's a man. Yeah, there's a man on the platform. It could be Jeff, for all we know. Traveling on this... Ah, see? I, I planned this through. Right. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Come on. We must stop at the S. Come on. The mo we must have at least one successful stop on this route. Oh, oh, no, 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 not giving up just yet. <laughs> Steady. That'll do. Right. And of course, Train Simulator being the best game of this. Uh, <laughs> I'm an inch off the platforms when these doors would open. Like, no, 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 you're not in the platform. Screw you, game. I was. That's a stop. I'm not going to get sacked for this. All right. Uh. All right. Uh, a bit of a spoiler warning. Until the next station, Chiddingstone, uh, it's a bit of a straight line. Got a bit lazy here. And I just said to myself, why don't I just make a, a very, have a very long straight? So, yeah, I got a bit lazy here. And unfortunately, this is an FSX where you could just speed it up. We're going to have to do this in real time. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Because we stopped at Holliford, um, no, 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 not, not Holliford. This station, Mox Heath, we're not going to stop at Chiddingstone. We'll just go full blast. Yeah, exactly. It's horrible. I wish the game was a bit more clever. So, as long as you have all the doors on the platform, then the then the, then the doors will open. Not just, oh, you're an inch off, therefore the whole coach won't open. Stupid. Uh, so, um, whilst it's doing that, I'm just going to check something. Uh, I'm gonna just check something up quickly on my own phone. Yep, I've had that happen way too many times for me as well. Seven one. Oh, 
I wish I had a radio. Let's think of songs to play. Let's think of some songs to listen to. Marconi plays the mama. Listen to the radio. Oh, you remember. We built this city. We built this city of rock and roll. Oh, yeah, Crazy Shark Gaming, you're right. We built this. We built this city. Do, 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 do. We built this city on rock and roll. Built this city. Do, do, do. We built this city on rock and roll. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got really lazy. I really need to add, like, probably um, a, a disused station between here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, YouTube remove, you know, what's it called? They re remove all zero pounds and zero pence I make from this video. Because um, I don't make any money from YouTube. Besides, what's wrong with spaceship? What's wrong with we built this city? That's one thing I have to say. I don't like, um... I don't see the hate for that song. I, I genuinely like it. <sighs> uh, does this room have it? semaphore signals anywhere? Good. Well, here's the thing. It used to have... Okay, I'll stay in the cab, actually. I'll just, um... Just... Yeah, it used to have semaphore signals. But, uh, I got, um, uh, what's the I'm looking for here? They, 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 they didn't work well, um, it, they didn't, I, I, I'm still puzzled of the scripting because they were the wary line signals, and they don't want to behave with me, so until I sort of, you know, decipher the it's scripting and how they work, I ain't gonna touch them. And again, the signal, the distant signal here is broken as hell as well. Won't work. It's just go. It's just on strike. I mean, it, it should be green because there's no other trains on the line. But you know, ooh, the winner works. Screw you too. You're getting, you're getting axed. But finally, after many minutes of driving, we get a walk. We get a forest. And has my thing changed over? Aha! Oh. Crap, that was close. <laughs> yep, yeah, South Western Railway followed it to Sydney. And we're just struggling to get to 63 miles an hour on a level track. That was close. Uh, 70, gotta slow down. Oh, hang on, let's do a passing shot. Because why not? Oh. No, 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 hang on. Let's do it, hang on. So, um, we've got, uh... Re no, no, actually, I'll do that when I get to the station. I've got an idea. Ooh. And uh, here's Chiddingstone, which has an road. Mm. Yeah, I did a bit of work around this station here. I kind of like it. I like um, how it looks. I wish I had the... Um, Southern region fencing, but in order for me to get that, I have to use Kent High Speed or another another asset, which I don't really want to use. But I like it. It's got a car park and a bus shelter and a phone box. We got an engineer just waiting. He's a bit bored at the moment. Um, there we go. That's pretty close. There we go. Lovely close. Yeah, this signal is broken before anybody asks. Oh my goodness, it come on! Reach 65! 
Yeah, thanks. It was it was just an idea that popped in my head regarding the the, um, the platforms. Oh my goodness! And we're gonna go up an incline. I mean, it's only 350. <sighs> Hurry up! I'm all out of water. Just about made that clearance. Oh, hurry up. Okay, oh, oh, I just noticed, we've reached 65 miles an hour. Yay! Woo! Don't worry, we're not, we're only like, you know, we're only like, just over three miles to go before we end our journey. signal should be working fine. I think, yeah, I think it is working fine. <sighs> yep, that's perfect. So we've got to slow down to 15. Distant signals behaving, which is nice. Slow down. This time we're actually slowing down in time as well for the speed limits. And road over there. Come on, zoom out. Yeah, I think we'll make it. Yeah, perfect. I'll just put on notch one. Right, so this is Holliford Cross Station. I'm just approaching which has a small retail park at the top here and um, it crosses a main line here another unelectrified main line with diamonds like Newark Northgate-ish and even platform extensions which I was working on I need to, I forgot to add the AWS ramp here, so, oops. <sighs> ah, okay. You know, close enough to the marker, I guess. I like the layout here because it allows for a train to normally, there's also, um, what's it called? It allows for trains to reverse without having to interfere with the main line, which is nice.
<laughs> yeah, that's one way to look at it. But you, but there's one thing that this route has that Favisham doesn't. Hey, well, that thing where you can see the white bit of the platform slope down into the other bit. Whereabouts? Where? I still need to fix this. Whereabouts? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a... Uh... Oh, the platform slope. Oh, the slope. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you mean the slope? I don't know, actually. I'm not too sure how to get rid of that. I mean, I don't, I don't get rid of the slope. Yeah, the, yeah, I don't know how to get rid of the slope. It will always happen unless you have dedicated platform ends that won't slope. At least as far as I'm concerned. Alright. Um, but yeah, but this route has something that Favisham doesn't. Which you're going to see in a second. Hello, we're almost finished. Something... Hello, well, yeah, welcome back, uh, Frowny. We're almost finished the stream, actually. So bad timing on your part, but oh well. So yeah, 15 miles an hour. Across the main line, that goes towards London. And then, hold on a second, we're going down. <gasps> a 1 in 52 incline. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gonna melt the brake box. Yeah, thanks. Um, it's something I was going for as well. Sort of early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s. You can get away with. Hello, Mr. L Hello, Liam. Welcome back again. We're gonna go down this 150 incline to the to Holyford Town itself. There's also uh, the obligatory viaduct. go take a picture so 35 miles an hour from here probably put notch two because we don't really need that much throttle it's one in 50. in fact if you listen carefully you can hear the traction motors We're going to go down this incline, sharp incline, all the way back down to Oliver Town. Again, it's still a bit of whip here. Oh, um. Oh, Frony, oh. Well, sorry, with my apologies. Comes across like the steep hill on Mar Marsdenshire, which I don't remember because I. Binned odd. Yeah, I'll put Marsden Show in the recycle bin. <laughs> Along with the West of the Main Lines. We're, until today, for another reason, I probably won't get into. Okay, we're gonna slow down to a bit. I might actually remove this bridge here because I don't really see a point of it. And. We go down, we go past the carriage sidings to our left. Oh yeah, but, um, what's it called? Those speed limit signs in the track, I need to move those back, because I, I kind of cocked up there, so pretend they don't exist. Oh, oh, hello, coaling stage. Goodbye, coaling stage. Okay. Now we enter Oliver Town. There's the bay platform used by... Peak hour shuttle services, potentially from London. Uh, yeah, obviously obligatory disused area of platform because why not? And the sharp curve, which you might recognise if you've seen a few of my pictures. It's a 200 meter radius curve, so it's not super steep. Come on. Can we get the perfect stop? Yes! Perfect stop. And our unit is 
Well, yeah, let's, another driver will take us over. All right, then. Let me just pause the game so it doesn't auto-quit. Uh, yeah, this is Holford Town. Got the white diamonds here, which means I don't have signal post telephones. Uh, level crossing is old here because um, I don't want to use Just Train's assets. I, I really don't want to, but I also want to at the same time because they have some decent, you know, common library assets to use. Yep, you did, Mr. Um, yeah, you did, Robson, I'm afraid. We're just about to end the stream. Well, yeah, I'm just about to end, because I've done all I wanted to do, and I want to uh, I want to chillax and get make some tea. And watch, I don't know, watch some more of Piratos, because that's what I'm in the mood for. But I'm glad you could um, at least see, you can watch, obviously watch back the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I um, hope I do this right. Please tell me I did that right. No, I didn't. <laughs> there we go. Ugh. I'm glad you guys could watch at least. Um, I've got to go now. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I might do another stream next week. And I hope we want to try and get back to making videos soon as well. See you later, everybody. Thank you very much. And obviously the game crashes. <laughs> Why not? Of course. <sighs> Temp dump. Why not?